Hey there, welcome back to No Recipe Required. Hope you're doing well. I'm Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to do a potato au gratin with a little bit of uh, leek and truffle. Now, the gratin potatoes is uh, something I do a lot. It goes awesome with, uh, goes on with chicken, but really goes well with steak. Kind of gives that little steakhouse feel. This one I'm going to amp up a little bit with the addition of some sauteed leeks as well as some, uh, some truffle oil, which um, really, I think, just pushes it over the edge. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for our um, leek and potato gratin, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off a leek. Now, usually the, uh, you know, the greens of the leek, I don't really use. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those. Split the leek in half. Take off maybe the very root end, which is no good. And then you wanna make sure you clean these out really, really well, because there can be some mud down, it, down in there. Once I get them clean, I'm going to um, just slice them up and then uh, start, start sautéing them off. And then I'm also, while those are sautéing, I'm going to finish cooking, or sorry, slicing up some potatoes. I essentially want to get, you know, nice discs of uh, potato or nice slices. You could, um, I'm using new potatoes here, especially this type. If you really wanted to or if you didn't have time, you can certainly leave the skins on. Skins on these are so... Uh, so thin, they don't uh, they don't really bother me, but it makes a little bit of a cleaner presentation if you take them off. I also, when I'm slicing a potato like this, I like to take a slice off the bottom. That's totally good. Put it down. Now I've got a nice stable base, and I can go through and just make nice little uh, potato shape pieces here. Maybe a um, you know quarter an eighth to a quarter of an inch in width. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I'm going to use two potatoes like this and, uh, and one, leek, one leek. Okay, so I just put my leeks into a um, medium hot um, frying pan. This is actually the pan that I'm going to use um, to make the whole gratin. So you want something with a metal handle that you can put into the oven. I'm just going to sweat these down, probably take five to ten minutes. I'm looking to get them so nice and soft um, and broken down. Salt and pepper in there, a little bit of olive oil. I don't really want to color. Um, on them, make them brown. So, um, you know, stir them every once in a while, toss them about. You don't have to pay constant attention to them if your flame is right. Um, we'll come back once they're, uh, once they're softened up. Well, my leeks are uh, sauteing away. I'm just going to go ahead and um, blanch these potato slices in some boiling water just to get the, uh, the cooking started. I could do these all in the oven, um, but that would take probably 45 minutes or so. And by um, boiling these off or softening them up just a little bit in some boiling water, we'll cut that time at least by half. Okay, so my potatoes just cooked for, um, you know, literally four or five minutes. Not very long at all. I'm going to go ahead and just toss them into the uh, pan with the leeks and then cover them with some cream. I've got heavy whipping cream here. Let me grab the other carton. And I like to go, um, you know, probably three quarters of the way full. And then we'll go ahead, give it just a little bit of stir. Actually, before we give it a little bit of stir, we need to do our pepper and our salt. And then I also add a little bit of cheese now. I'm using some uh, some Parmesan which is what I normally use and then a little bit of Fontina just because I happen to have it in the um, in the cabinet now and you want it fairly loose you know the um, as we bake this off that um, that cream is going to evaporate and it's going to form a nice um, you know nice kind of solid mass in here that will just cut into and serve. So once I've got it mixed together, cheese is incorporated, salt and pepper incorporated, I just kind of even out the top a little bit. I've obviously got it on high heat. You want to get it up to the boil. Then I'm going to pop this into a, um, call it 375 degree oven for probably 20 minutes until the, um, until the um, potatoes are done. We do the old knife test with the potatoes, insert them in, make sure it's all nice and tender. I almost forgot. I like to throw a little bit of cheese on top as well. 
for a little bit of added flavor, added texture, and that cheese will turn golden brown in the oven. Okay, so I baked off my um, leek and potato gratin here until I got a nice golden brown top, bubbly in between. And you can see almost all of that cream is um, you know kind of been absorbed and thickened up. Now, where the truffles come in, if I had fresh truffle, grate in some fresh truffle on here, and bring this right to the table, serve it like that, and let people just kind of help themselves, that would be phenomenal. I don't have a fresh truffle. I've got truffle oil, though, which you can buy in most stores, and I like to just drizzle a little bit right over the top. If you had maybe a little bit of parsley as well on top, that would be uh, an awesome presentation. There you go. A beautiful potato and leek with some truffle accented gratin. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.